to my channel this is guitar made easy by kizito i hope you guys are good if this is your first time on my channel please smash the subscribe button and smash the post notification bell okay please please so that you can be notified every single time i upload and do comment so you can help the youtube algorithm not to like recommend my videos to other people who want to learn too all right so with no further ado today i'll be teaching you guys not teaching but basically showing you guys 20 chords every guitarist needs to know right or every guitar player whether you're a beginner or you're a pro or whatever this is like all these chords are basically the chords people used to play most of these modern songs your r&b your pop your indie your rock you know your blues your jazz yeah of course jazz entry level but yeah so yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you these chords and somewhere around here i'm gonna have a chart where it tells you the chords one by one and down below my description you can have a look at the link there's a link to the code charts that you'll be able to if you're not familiar with any of the codes and you want to learn how to play the codes you will click the link and it will take you straight to a website where you can read code charts in different positions and different you know fret numbers and all this stuff but yeah let's get straight to the video okay so our first code is going to be our c major right which we which is our c open string Open string C major chord. You can see how beautiful the sounds. You know? This is one of the chords that you have to learn as a beginner or any guitarist when you start playing. C. Then the next one, the second one is our A major. People play normally play the A majors like this, but I play mine like this. It's the same formation but just with a different finger. So this is the next one is A major. You can hear. Then our next one is our G major, which is our common, our C major and our G major is our common chord most people play. A lot of people learn how to play songs on guitar on G because it's the easiest. While on piano, most people learn on C. C. So G is the third one. Our next chord is our E major. You can hear the difference. Next one is our D. You can hear how happy this chord is, I promise you. Listen to that. The D major chord is like one of the brightest chords on the guitar. It's like one of the happiest chords on the guitar. Then after E major, after, yeah, after D major, sorry, we have our A minor. You can hear what it sounds like. A minor we have our E minor which is the easiest chord on the guitar simple you just use two fingers that's like the open position but if you want to play like your bar chords it'll be a different thing like maybe you know like that but yeah E minor after E minor it's our D minor next if your D major is the brightest chord, of course your D minor has to be one of the saddest. So you can hear how sad this is. Your D minor. You know. I promise you, most of these pop songs have a lot of minors in them. Especially the sad ones that actually hit your emotions, you know. Right? So after D minor, our next chord is our F major, the bar chord. You can hear that. Just another chilled chord. about bar chords is if you play in this position you can just change the sound by switching going up and you know if you know your fretboard so after F our next one is our F sharp which is you slide semitone down here so which F sharp this is F sharp major right you know but if you know this quickly it's also your this is also your this is this is also your G, but don't worry about that because we just not worried. But if you know the bar chord positions, it's okay. So after that, the next one is our F minor. It's the same position as your F. All you do is just remove your middle finger and use it to support this if you want to. But yeah, everything stays the same. But yeah, F minor. And then the next is F sharp minor. You can hear. And then G minor, the same position, you just slide to the third fret. This is G minor. 
right? G minor power chord. Then after that, our next chord is our B. A lot of people, I play my B like this, but a lot of people play it like this, which is still the same, you know? Or even, but I prefer to play my B like this, right? After your B, the next is your B flat. Just go down, same position. That's the good thing about bar chords. You can just, all you just do now is just switch fretboards, like just go to the next fretboard, as long as you know which note is your root. So after B flat, it's B minor. And the good thing about this is also it's like the same formation as your A minor, right? Then you just slide it down, change the fingers, and then put a bar on it. So B minor, right? Then you go semitone down, B flat minor, right? Then you go whole tone up, which is on the third fret, your C minor, which is the next chord. Then after C chord, this is where it gets juicy now. You know when you when you hear people playing like those small progressions, and then you hear a funny, deep but confusing sound and you're like, what chord is this? This is the chord, C major, is C7. You can hear that, can you hear it? It's so confusing, but it sounds nice also. You see, C7, this is like one of the nicest chords you can hear. And then the next one is your A7, same thing. You know, it's, it's just though, it just comes with a little bit of spark in it. C7, and the next one is A7, listen to this. Can you hear that? So bright, but you know, it's welcoming. After A7, after A7 is your E7, which is one of the easiest or so, because you only use two, if you're you playing open string, you only use two fingers. You can hear, right? E7. And then after that, the next one is your D7. This one sounds really odd, but you know, I mean, this one sounds really, really odd. But it's also bright too. Your D7. The next one is your G7. We're gonna go bar chord again. It's like playing your normal major on your bar chord. Then you just remove your pinky from there. So G7. You can hear it has that jazzy sound. C7, A7. It's a whole jazz progression. I'm gonna teach you guys that very soon. All right. All right. So after your G7, the same position. You slide down, semitone down, your F sharp 7. This is our bar chords now. And then lastly, it's gonna be our F7, which is also semitone down, which is on the first fret, which is your F7. You know? Now, I swear, I promise you, if you can know these chords, you'll be able to play most of this popular RB, pop, even trap songs. Come on, trap music is, even hip hop music is made from chord progressions and jazz samples and all that stuff. So please just have a look at that stuff, you know, try and see if there's chords that you don't know. If you don't know some of them, go down below my description. I have a, a link to chord charts where you can click and get different chord charts and everything and be able to read them. But yeah, I hope this lesson helped you or improved your skill in any way. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.